Hi guys, Bart from PA Brew News. Just got out of a shower, a nightcap. So what we have is Star Hill. This is their Shakedown Imperial Chocolate Cherry Stout, the gift of great beer. 8% alcohol by volume. Look at that. Okay, cool. Good job. All right, let me pour this in and I'll give you a little information. Ding! There it is. All right, let that sit for a sec. All right, 50 to 55 degrees. It's close. Cellar temp. I don't know what the hell cellar temp is right now. I should actually get a little some, uh, thermometer to put it on the wall just to see. A little cooler today. Uh, do, 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 do. Perfect for the winter time. Uh, it goes uh, the food it goes good with. It says desserts and everything. <laughs> Smoked cheese. Um, let's see. Uh, you, you, you chant it. Um, okay. Crozet, uh, Corset or Crozet, uh, Virginia, Star Hill. Okay. I think actually DJ from DJ's Brewtube actually uh, works with them sometimes. And of course Virginia Johnny over there at DJ's Brewtube. So, cheers to you guys. Alright. Has died down to just a nice uh, a nice layer of just kind of khaki, almost cocoa colored head. Definitely see the alcohol legs. Up to the light. Only the faintest hint coming through about there. It's pretty dark beer. Absolutely. All right, let's get a nose on this one. Yeah. Okay, there's a little touch of that cherry sweetness in there, but mostly it's just that kind of roasted, toasted, and uh, kind of sweet chocolate. Yeah, it smells just like a really good sweet stout. Nope, now I'm getting almost like a waft of uh, uh, just a soft char tobacco note in there. You know, almost pipe tobacco, cherry pipe tobacco. Wow, that's a really nice smell. Okay, let's get into this one. Stir it around a little bit. Piss that off. All right, cheers. It's a little bit of a, it actually is a little bit of a, it's not really affecting you as you drink it, but in the mouth there's a little bit of a floral booze note in there. So the 8%, I don't know what that is, it seems like it's actually the alcohol in there, but it's sticky, there's a, a, a like, it's not really sweet, this is a sticky thing about it that, uh, it emanates from from the the center of it. I always want to say it's kind of like a Al boozy note, but I don't think so. Wow, that's a very odd odd flavor. It's a bit thin overall, but it's got a lot of cocoa powder. I think that's what it is. It's like this coating cocoa powder flavor to it. Just going through the, my mind here, it's not really that sweet. That's what I don't think. I was expecting more of a sweetness. I'm not pulling a whole lot of cherry out of this. What is this? It's a chocolate cherry stout. You're not getting that rounded, sharp cherry kind of pulling through and melding with the chocolate. You're getting tons of cocoa powder, sugarless cocoa powder. That's what I'm actually getting. That's what's sticking to the side of my face. Mouth hole thingy. More in the, in the mouth, you get a little bit of that sweetness, a little bit of that subtle fruit character, soft cherry, when you drink it. But in the, in the residual flavors, and you're not really getting that. You're getting more of that cocoa powder clinginess. Yeah. Don't the small sips like that. 
they leave you clean, but when you start guzzling it down, you get more flavor as you go. As you move the actual liquid past your gullet, the more flavors come out of it. But this really isn't a beer you should be glugging back, if you know what I mean, at 8%. Yeah, it's got a, a medium full body, so it's a bit thin on that side. Soft carbonation, um, everything's okay with it. It's just not really hitting the notches for me for where it's supposed to be with a, you know, imperial chocolate cherry stout. I'm not getting the rich notes, rich chocolates. Definitely not getting a sharp, rich cherry mixing in with that. I'm not getting any of that. Um, really, really pro prolific. Uh, sugarless cocoa powder <laughs> coming in on, on on the mouth a lot coming in on the, I don't want to whatever Eric shut up um, yeah definitely not exactly what I was hoping for it's not a bad beer it's just more just a, a plain Jane the overall uh, take on it is more just like a, a plain Jane like wannabe sweet stout it's really odd. Unfortunately, I was really excited about this, and it's not really hitting the marks that I was kind of hoping it would achieve. Yep. The more you drink that, the more the flavor comes out. It's more like a soft, dark fruit than a sharp cherry, though. Unfortunately, it's not really... You're not drinking, like, the cherry-filled chocolates that you were hoping hoping to get. That's at least I was hoping to get, but overall it's not bad. And for the style, what it's going for, it's not up there where it should be in my book, but it's still a solid brew. It's something that I think people would enjoy. I'm not really too keen on the on the sticky cocoa powder. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's not that bad. I know I'm talking down on it, but 7 is still a very fine grade. This is Star Hill Shakedown Imperial Chocolate Cherry Stout. Let me know what you think. I'm going to de definitely ask around because this one's just not hitting me right. But maybe some people love it. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.